Hello everyone, my name is Andy Prestewi Bowo. Uh, currently, I'm a postgraduate research student at Coventry University, but I'm also a lecturer at Department of Architecture, Faculty of Engineering, University of Atmaja, Yogyakarta. Today, in international webinar on digital architecture 2020 or IBEDA 2021. Uh, I would like to present my uh, recent study about heat transfer. Let me share my screen. Okay. Today, my presentation, I will give a title, The Heat Transfer Rate of Composite Wall with Series and Parallel Configuration. Uh, as I said before, I'm a uh, Postgraduate is a student at Institute for Future Transport and City. Uh, the theme or the area of this topic is related to digital modeling, simulation, and fabrication. Uh, this, this presentation that I will be presenting this time is the part of my research in my study, and I'm still learning to use software to give added value in my research. I realized that there are still many things that needs to be improved. So I really hope that through this conference, I will get a lot of input and suggestions to make my research better in the next process. As introduction, there are a few things I want to say as follow. Uh, firstly, uh, about the concept of heat transfers in buildings. Heat transfer itself is defined as the movement of thermal energy for one thing to another thing on different temperature. This object can be two solids, a solid and liquid or gas, or within a liquid or gas. There are three types of heat transfer. There are convection, conduction, and radiation, with their definition and example shown in the slide. Maybe later on you can, you can see uh, more truly uh, through my presentation. Okay, next. Uh, then when we talk about heat loss, heat losses from buildings mostly occur from external walls, ceilings, windows, and basement, and also by infiltration. And interestingly, that 35% of heat loss through uninsulated walls. So this is important for us to make building with good insulation. Mm, then uh, I will give some overview for, for this presentation that one is insulation serves as barrier to heat transfer and is therefore crucial for keeping your home warm in the winter and also cool in the summer month. A well-insulated and well-designed home delivers year-round comfort while reducing cooling and heating expenditures depending on the climate. It follows that greenhouse gas emission will reduce as a result. Uh, it is possible to access how quickly and how much energy is transferred down the insulation wall by using the value of heat flow or heat transfer rate. This study aims to provide an overview how much influence of the configuration system has on the installation of an insulating wall layer by using ANSYS software and the steady state analysis approach. Uh, according to Muyen 2019, by using ANSYS workbench software, the temperature distribution also can be observed from this software. As shown in the slide, there are several steps need to be done. Uh, at least there are the uh, when first we have to create geometry of the walls within series and parallel it's uh, called modeling and then next step is apply the building material properties to the layer of the walls i use four type of material with different thermal conductivity and the third around the calculation and then for the for the result we have to compare uh, within what happened with uh, parallel configuration and the series configuration. The parallel and series configuration, uh, I applied in the middle of the layer of the insulation. So it will be 
have differences differentiation about this kind of all. The results showed that total heat flux from series configuration in the left side, this one, is look likely more universal than the parallel configuration. This can be indicated that using series configuration, the heat transfer is more stable and can be measured in one direction. From the calculations by the software, it can be seen that the heat energy is passing through the wall. The results show that the series configuration has a smaller thermal energy distribution, this way in the left side and the right side for the parallel configuration. Uh, that, yeah, the series configuration has a smaller thermal energy distribution value than the insulation layer in parallel. As a conclusion, there are several things that can be raised. First, the heat transfer rate is reduced when the insulating layer installation systems are placed in series rather than parallel. Second, improved building energy efficiency can be achieved in part by reducing heat transfer. Third, conduction will be reduced in if insulation materials have a low thermal conductivity and a significant layer thickness. Okay, this is for my reference for this slide. Maybe we can truly read for all of these uh, references. Uh, that's all that I can say at this point. I apologize if there's something that are not pleasing one or all of you uh, when I give this presentation. As I said at the beginning, this research is still far from perfect. Therefore, I really hope for input and suggestion for all my colleagues to help me make the process better in the future. I would like to thank the committee and reviewer team for the opportunity given to me to able to join and present my research in this conference. You can also contact me through my email if there's, there's, uh, another, uh, there is a further discussion need to be done. Uh, I'm really happy, I, I, I really uh, appreciate and really grateful if you can join and then contact me for further discussion. Thank you very much, that's all. Uh, I will stop my screen and then stop my presentation. See you there.